Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my training bench. Um, today, I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, uh, my uh, best invention for summer 2015 uh, micro crunchy skater or cicada. Um, one stomach pump at the, from the cutthroat uh, from the Ravari, uh, Lama, uh, Lama River in uh, Yellowstone Park. Um, I found this uh, really tiny um, uh, that I think is a cicada and um, um, I start kind of experimenting it and then this just works very well. Uh, it might be even taken as the uh, kind of hot you know uh, orange ant that's po that's a possibility but anyway this just caused so many fish right after I uh, start using it so um, let's get started whoa I pinched the uh, I pinched the wing um, size from 12 to um, say 18 but 16 18 is a real um uh you know it's really um uh small and then uh, that's kind of pretty much what i really see but uh, um but the uh, size 12 it's still much much smaller than you know than compared to the conventional um uh you know what we call scale on the market and then uh, this is a really thick thread. I think it's even thicker than three uh, two ten or three o. This is going to be the living. Then, oh, uh, just a ring of yarn, just a fabric fabric store and, uh, I, I say it, it's easier uh, for the living purpose uh, which is the next but if, you know if, if I put one wrap uh, behind the ribbing uh, this makes living much easier because uh, uh, you don't have to, but uh, um, if you do, the uh, first wrap is not so, uh, it's not on the steep spot. So. I make one more. Here we go. Okay, um, what I'm going to do next is uh, actually we finish on the clip because uh, I secure that. Um, I'm going to cover here with cement with my needle. Here we go. You can use pr probably anything, but uh, you want you want to use a one with a kind of you know gloss uh, finish, such as I'm using a loom uh, outdoors, but you can use like a, something like a how does how does uh, how does nail how does how, and then uh, this was a fast number one uh, improvement. Um, I actually used this pattern at uh, Gallatin. Um, 
I just straight go back to Lamar or Soda Butte. I went to Gallatin and then the uh, fish already uh, jumping on it. Then, um, first problem I found is uh, after, well, I caught a few fish, and then uh, this ribbing starts to kind of basically, bro you know, broke or just, you know, stripped down. So, uh, but besides that, this definitely uh, add, you know, some uh, uh, gross, you know, finish of a uh, terrestrial and then, uh, yeah, crunchy effect. And then the uh, fry is going to be very durable. Here we go. So, uh, it, it will take some time. So when you work on this fly, I suggest you to make, like, uh, to plan to tie, um, 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 uh, half a dozen or dozen you know or eight or ten uh, whichever uh, you prefer then here's all the uh, dried one uh, same size so put the slit back here I first tie in just a tiny bit of foam here be good then so uh, my thread is right in front of the uh, abdomen in front of the last ribbing then underwing is there here not so much and already clipped and stacked and also not so long looks good Okay, and then uh, next is a wing with a sweet Swiss straw, gray Swiss straw, and then uh, well, I at the first for the first trial version, I just use you know single, uh, just just you know, I just uh, cut off what I think it's right, and then uh, attach, and uh, it just uh, basically <laughs> broke off in. Uh, uh, with a couple of casts, uh, when I try to re remove the fly from uh, a trout hook, uh, tr I'm a trout, you know, mouth, I mean. And um, yes, I did catch some fish. Then, uh, so what I did is, uh, I'm gonna uh, spread, you know, flat. Then, um, I apply cement on one side, and then uh, fold it. Make it double, and with cement. This, th this process makes, um, this fragile material very um, you know strong that's what we want indeed after these two improvements uh, my fly so yes here's here's the uh, here's what I got it's already dry uh, my flies became very strong until you know there's a hook gonna be you know opened gaps gonna be opened so I'm going to tie in with one wrap this one up here, slightly angling like that. Then I just simply fold over without, not, uh, not on the top of the uh, first wing. Okay, it should be looking like this. And I made a good, uh, okay. I'm gonna fold here. You can certainly add, add a tiny bit of cement here, like zappa gap or something. Here we go. I I just wanted this uh, this uh, robust, you know, square hook. Uh, I'm sorry. What I'm saying, square head. Then I'm gonna um, trim off and work on this. Um, uh, waist end these are all together then the uh, last material would be the hako
kind of wrap over kind of gap two or three times I made only two okay we finish and then uh, trim the bottom hackle you know flat this is then very last procedure years let's make the eye I kind of like three quarter way not quite side not quite front Here we go. So this is my uh, micro crunchy cicada, and for the same with the exactly the same uh, method, I already tie this uh, uh, micro crunchy bee, um, just a yellow yarn, um, a black foam for the head, and then uh, grizzly hako for the uh, yeah for the hako, and. Um, same thing, I, I would put a good cement on here. And uh, yeah, this is my uh, micro crunchy B. So try this pattern um, uh, pretty much, you know, anywhere, I guess, uh, during the summertime, you know. It, terrestrial, you know, um, try to look for any kinds of terrestrial. So uh, again, it might, it can be taken as a, as a nant, you know, hot ant. So that, that is possible. So, uh, Okay, well, thank you for watching.